Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I know many of you out there have networks. Some of you are network admins. You have to manage multiple computers. Even here in my house, I didn't realize it until running this tool that I had so many um, devices on my network. And uh, this is the tool that we're going to be demonstrating, Packet Trap Perspective. If you head over right now to go.tagjag.com slash perspective, you can download a copy for yourself. It's running on Windows. It was easy to set up, easy to get going, and I personally, someone who I've said very clearly in the past, I'm not a network admin, don't know much about you know managing networks, but this tool has made it easier for me to see what's going on in all the devices that are connected to my network. Uh, and that's just at, at, at the top level, of course, the idea is, you know, the name of the product is Perspective, uh, so it's kind of giving you a zeitgeist over the devices on your network. And I've got the program pulled up right here, Packet Trap Perspective, and, and I'm joined by a couple of the people from the company. This is Brian, his little head here. How's it going? And this is AK. What's going on? Right here. So they're, 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 they're helping me a bit. And uh, I, I thought, I, I, did I explain that clearly enough? I mean, is that really what Packet Trap Perspective can do? Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly what it can do. So what we do here, actually, we actually track Brian's web surfing at the office. So we actually have a <laughs> network trap analyzer that allows you to see all the websites that are being served at your company. I can't say what he's visiting. It's not, it's not PG-13 or PG for that matter, but we can give you all the insight on Who's, who's surfing the web websites, someone's on Facebook, on YouTube, or you know, some of the other one, the great websites are out there. We can tell you exactly what kind of impact they're causing on your network as well as far as bandwidth usage. So, right, so it's not just about who's clogging up your network, but it's about what they're clogging the network up with, what type of traffic it is, what type of protocol, what percentage of the bandwidth is going over the wire. So it's a, it's a whole uh, list of different things that you can yeah, uh, you know, tools you can use to figure out, you know, who's slowing down my network, and then I'm going to shoot off a report to the boss and say, "This isn't my fault. The network's acting slow. This is so and so's fault." So, so you track all the users by IP and DNS. Um, so it tells me exactly who is in, the, in, a, in this day and age who's being productive. If someone's on Facebook, <laughs> I can see that. And if I don't like that employee, he's fired. Now, did you guys catch that? <laughs> did, did you catch that? You can use this tool to analyze who's doing what. And where on your network? That's that's pretty powerful. Is that the uh, traffic analysis button then? That's correct. All right, so the traffic analysis works with pretty much any router or switch, regardless of any flow support. So there's main there's three major protocols out there by vendors like Cisco, Juniper, and HP. That's NetFlow, SFlow, and JFlow. But we now just released PTFlow, which allows you to manage traffic from any router, regardless of Linksys, Netgear, or Cisco. You can manage all the traffic and see exactly what's going on in your network. Control. Exactly. You, I, I'm zoomed in uh, close right now, and it seems it's the the devices list. Um, That's correct. I've used, I've tried to use so many net scan tools, uh, and again, like I said, you know, I'm not running like you know a massive network here, so I imagine you, you've built this to scale, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, but it worked here enough to. to automatically detect the IP, the host if it was uh, named, and then and further details about that particular device. It did this for me just by clicking a couple buttons. And, and yep. it, it was so, I mean, honestly, and I'm not used to, to seeing a lot of these enterprise class tools uh, you know, work so easily, and, and it did right out of the box. In fact, before I could even get going, it said, hey, do you want to set this up? Do you want to find the devices on the network? And that, that was really impressive from the get-go. Yeah, the product was really designed to be a load-and-go product for uh, smaller network IT administrators who aren't familiar with some of the more sophisticated equipment, how to get into them, how to enable them. It was really meant to be easy to set up, easy to use, because our whole mantra here is, is it, it shouldn't take more time to manage your network management solution than your to manage your network itself. So that's sort of where we're coming from. Yep. And you've well, we got what we call smart policy. So right. we automatically detect the devices via the credentials, which is SNMP credentials, then we then throw those devices into the appropriate policy, whether it's a networking device or a networking policy, if it's a server, throw them in the server policy for you automatically. Okay. And the whole idea here, Chris, is, is, is really that what we're trying to do is get the people to uh, you know, figure out a way to be more proactive in, in preventing problems, preventing downtime, instead of fixing problems. Um, because obviously 
downtime equals lost production, and that's the last thing any IT administrator wants. I just zoomed in as you were mentioning the policies. I zoomed in close to take a look at uh, at what you had there, and you've got like different monitors you can set. You can even set the amount of time each one of these monitors runs. I mean, wow, that's pretty detailed. That's correct. So we have fixed intervals that you can modify. So if you want to be able to get a CPU update every five minutes or every 10 minutes, you can do that. We also have a feature called Go Live, which is under the Devices tab. If you right-click on any device, if you need to troubleshoot in real time, you can now do that as well in real time. Oh, great. So that's actually a pretty unique feature in the network management space. And I love how you can see the processor usage or memory usage, I mean, once it's, uh, once it's set up of these uh, these various devices like IP, host, last boot time. I, I'm looking right now at one of my printers on my network and yeah, that's, you know, this is more information than I could have gotten otherwise, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Well, I mean, that's hence the reason for the tool. Uh, I also, uh, in, the, in the dashboard section, I've also noticed you've got like a top 10. This is like a really an overview of, well, you've got, by default, like top 10 highest average latency, average CPU usage, average packet loss, average memory usage. I mean, a lot of these sections here in this pane. Could I add more views to this? Yeah, you can add more gadgets. That you can add as many tabs as you want. There's a, a whole list of different gadgets, depending mm -hmm. on the performance counters you're collecting. Right but the, the pre-can templates you see there just goes back into the whole concept of load and go. Get the thing set up quickly. Start monitoring your data right away. You shouldn't have two or three days to have to sit and configure all this stuff. Dude. It's there for you. And it's ready to go. How, you've got tons of gadgets. I just looked at the gadgets list, and you've got everything on here. Yeah, you can actually monitor the top domains being, being visited, so the top websites oh, being really? visited. Really? That, um, see, that's going to... Uh, gadget, you can also do uh, manage web servers or websites. You can say, well, if my website is displayed, cannot be displayed. I know our web server is down, so you can be alerted on that as well. So we have full full alerts as well on all of the uh, on all the devices you want to manage. Wow! I, I just went through the. I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm zoomed in really close so that people can see. I'm trying to set up the. Uh, or trying to set up a, at least starting to to add a gadget for traffic on one of the particular computers on the network. Not that you know I'm trying to snoop in on you know whoever's on my network, but it's certainly giving me a heck of a lot more information than you know I would have had otherwise. Well, and again, so, that's kind of the idea. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And that's why I'd say most for most of our customers we're talking to, that's probably the biggest pain point is really to analyze traffic. Um, they want to see exactly what's going on, what's going down the network. We do a lot more than that. We also manage VMware environments, manage all your Windows servers, your Linux servers, desktops. But I would say the main pain point is traffic analysis because folks want to know exactly what's going down their network. Uh, right. Is it uh, this this particular, when I have everything set up, could I access it? Let's say I'm on another computer, maybe somewhere in the world or whatever. Can I access... Um, at least the information that I've set up on this computer? Some, yeah, that, that's a really good question. This is a multi-user system. This is meant for multiple IT administrators, no matter where they are in the world, to be able to access it via a browser or via a thin client that they can download on their machine. So it's web accessible? It is web oh, accessible. Hot, right. And then, of course, you've got uh, various reports that can be run, like on-demand, I'd imagine, or you know, as you, as it kind of happens over time. So you can get an idea about where things sit with whatever, well, here, I, I can zoom in again and show people. Uh, individual device reports, CPU, ping, Windows services, list goes on and on and on. Um, you know, th this reporting, it, it's, it's, uh, it's something that's important, I think, over, more over time, uh, I'd imagine. But is it, does it really help someone pinpoint what the problem is? Not necessarily, yes, hey, there's a problem. You can actually go down to the last hour or the last period. You can go back to a period of all to the last year and collect all the data that you want to see. If you just want to see top talkers on your network, you can see that. If you want to see just the uh, top CPU utilization, you can see that as well. You can also have, have the reports emailed every day to your to the CIO or the CEO of the company so they can see a full network executive summary report on what's going on in the network. And then right. it looks like you've got various export uh, options, HTML, PDF, or HTML and PDF. That's pretty smart. That's correct. Getting That's that correct. Out there. And really, this is also for IT administrators to give their boss or their colleagues more visibility into what's going on in the network on a standard schedule, so that they can expect, uh, a, you know, mm -hmm. on a weekly basis, an overall network health score. That way, it, it makes it really look like the, the person's doing their job better. That's genius. Now, you. This is, uh, of course, packet trap perspective. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a tool that isn't free, but you also have free tools available on your website, packettrap.com. 
Are they kind of like little brothers to uh, these uh, these larger tools? Yeah, that's correct. So the PT360 is a network troubleshooting tool, which is has free tools. And we have we have a pro version, which is about ninety nine dollars. Oh, it's not so bad. It's actually great for the recession. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> well, no, I mean, but it's it's one of those things that unless you have the right tool for the job, you're just running into nothing but frustrations. But well, I think we're gonna do a, a demonstration of PT360 in another video. So sure. I, I wanted yeah. to cover this one separately, packet trap perspective, because it is a different tool compared to a Yeah, the perspective is more a, of a complementary network management system that does full alerting and reporting, where the PT360 is a great complementary product. It's more for troubleshooting tools um, right. and just doing diagnostics on your network. All right, it'll be something to look forward to. Uh, again, everybody, uh, say thank you to both uh, to Brian and AK for taking the time out to, to kind of walk through some bits of this and I, I kind of wanted a little perspective on perspective. You can download it. Sorry, hopefully that wasn't too punny for you. Um, <laughs> if you want to download a copy right now, uh, get uh, started with a packet trap perspective, uh, perspective, see if it's right for you and uh, your network needs. You can head to go.tagjag.com slash perspective. That's going to take you right to the download. Of course, packettrap.com. That's correct. More information on stuff. Uh, really, in fact, here, let me, I can zoom in right here and show you. Packettrap.com, that's where you can go. Uh, when uh, when we find uh, people who help support the things we do, we like to be able to support them back. And Chris, so. don't forget to tell them they get a free t-shirt, too. They get, for what? They get a free t-shirt for what? <laughs> for going to our website and registering our product. Re do you hear that? You can get a free yep. t-shirt. So, I didn't even, I didn't even know that. Well, yours, yours in the mail already. Oh, mine's in the mail yours already. The mail. Hey, there you go. If for no other reason, then you can get a free t-shirt. You know, put clothes on your back. Hopefully you're wearing clothes when you're watching this video. If not, I don't want to know. Thanks again, guys. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're more than welcome to stop by our community of geeks. Join us there, geeks.perillo.com. And then you know that uh, we've got this chat room here. We're typically talking tech and sometimes demonstrating software throughout the day and night because I'm streaming this video 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.